Good afternoon, YouTube. I am back out wild camping today. It is the uh, 5th of April, uh, Thursday. Finished work early, so I thought I'd uh, come out and uh, do a quick wild camp to test out uh, a new tent that I purchased uh, the other day. The uh, eagle-eyed of you will notice that um, I'm already in it. Um, and I haven't done the ordinary intro um, from the car or on the walk up mainly because it was so windy um, and the audio would have been rubbish uh, and we all know that my videos suffer from crap audio so I didn't want to add to that problem and it's ironic that the song should I sh stay or should I go now has just come on the uh, the radio um, I've just unpacked and I've just realized that I've got two bread rolls, a bunch of sausages and some bacon, lots of water, some new coffee to try, and no gas canister. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. So my tea tonight will consist of a galaxy bar and a beer and two half frozen bread rolls. So should I stay or should I go now? That is the question. Do I go home or do I stay out? Well, I will uh, let you uh, watch the, um, the, the walkie intro um, uh, until we get to this point and I will catch you a little bit later.
obviously I mentioned earlier on that I got a new tent. That new tent is the OEX uh, Raccoon 2.1. Um, I got this tent, A, because it was cheap, and B, just wanted something that was slightly um, bigger uh, and that I could sit up and be a little bit more comfortable in, really. Uh, and as you can see, I am sat up. There's plenty of room above my head. I'm sat in my little chair and it's like a palace there's loads of room i've got the mat in i've got just tons and tons of room i love it already there's a bit of a pain in the ass to put up if i'm completely honest um it was extremely windy and the poles are just weird they, they don't they don't set up how you would think a normal tent would set up um you'd think normally they cross from one side to the other but these seem to just stay on one side and then you cross them in the middle and then attach all the, the um, hooks to the, the poles. Uh, it took a bit of getting used to, if I'm completely honest. Now in terms of weight, this tent uh, weighs around 2.6 um, kilos. So it's relatively heavy um, compared to my VR Raven, which weighs about 1.7. Um, but I just wanted a bigger tent. Uh, I don't generally walk too far uh, from the car, so um, it's not a problem really. And um, I can carry the extra weight, it's, it's no issue. So um, tonight I am uh, staying on Butterdon Hill, which is um, on the south part of Dartmoor. I had planned on camping on uh, Hanger, Shell, Hanger Shell Rocks. Uh, but it's just too windy. Um, I couldn't find any spaces uh, there where I was out of the wind. The wind was just coming straight on at me. Uh, so I decided to uh, come back to um, Butterdon Hill uh, and camp behind um, a small little mound. Um, so hopefully that will provide a little bit of protection. But I'm quite happy with the tent. As I said, it, it pitched relatively easy. Um, there were a few issues, but nothing major, uh, and it, it's nice, I like it. So if I give you a little run through of how much space I've got, uh, there's my down jacket and my water bottle, a couple of pockets at the end there, uh, I've just got some gump in the end there. I've got my uh, Sinmat, Xped Sinmat 7 uh, mat uh, with my Sierra Designs dry down pillow, Van Gogh uh, ultralight um, sleeping bag, rucksack at the end there. So there's plenty of room. Um, so there's two doors, which is good. There's a hang um, point there to put uh, a lantern. Um, I will show you the outside. In terms of the vestibule, um, it's a relatively decent size. Um, my table there and my pan which I was going to cook my sausages in which is now redundant and obviously my cook set which is also redundant so this is the tent from the outside so as you can hear it is now raining that has uh, made up my decision to stay the night even though I've got no real food no hot drinks uh, so I'm here for the night I'm gonna get in my sleeping bag in a minute. It's only about seven, half seven, I think. Um, but I just cannot be bothered to pack this tent down in the rain and then walk back to the car. The car's only about a mile away, but I'm relatively comfortable. Loads of room, as I said, loads of room in this tent. I'm loving it. So um, I'm gonna stay the night. I'm just gonna probably be cold. So this is my dinner tonight. <laughs> a beer, a bun, and a bar of galaxy or well, half a bar of galaxy now because i've eaten half of it i would recommend the the no gas canister dry bun diet it's really good and the, and the galaxy chocolate it's actually quite nice it's frozen as well which is even better so i've just eaten my roll and my galaxy bar and now i'm drinking my brew dog pale ale that should see me through to uh, bedtime. It's annoying that I haven't got a hot drink to go to sleep with, but I'll live and learn, won't I, for the next one. It's been a habit recently, just leaving things behind that are essential bits of kit. Like last week it was the tent, 
this week is the gas canister. It's, I don't know what, I think I'm sure I've got like dementia or something. I'm just always forgetting things at the moment. But anyway, uh, the wind has died down. Uh, it's not raining anymore. It's getting dark outside. Uh, it's about nine-ish now. I won't be up too much longer um, and I probably won't do too much more filming. And I'm just gonna go to bed um, to try and get warm within my sleeping bag. And then hopefully I'll have a decent night's sleep. So yeah, so I will probably sign off now and I will catch you in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. I had a very good night's sleep. I slept like a baby. From the moment I lay down to now, I, I don't think I woke once. And I think that's all down to the mat, the Xbed Sim mat. It does pay to buy decent kit. And uh, I've had a good night's sleep. In fact, I've always had a good night's sleep whenever I've brought that mat out with me. Uh, I'm gonna start packing up now. Um, I've started to pack up the inner tent. I'll get the outer tent packed up and uh, I'll be on my way. It started to rain, as you can probably hear. It's not ideal because I didn't bring a rain jacket with me. So um, I probably won't do much filming from now on. So I will catch you on the next trip. Thanks, YouTube.